Every year, 35,000 high school students participate in a special event. They build robots and compete against each other. The robots are just a vehicle. It's a sport of the mind, but it is about much more than just winning. If I didn't have robotics, I would be a dull person. Think about the men and women who have studied and put their knowledge up for you. This competition will change these young people forever. Usually I don't like math and I don't like science, but when it comes down to doing something like robotics, something that's actually pretty fun, you know it's going to have an outcome, like you actually see the math that you're doing, that back in like eighth grade you'd ask, is this going to ever help me in life? It's actually doing something, you know, so it's pretty cool. Caitlin and the Ratchet Rockers are depending on a good start. Disaster strikes in a crucial early match. The top of their robot arm breaks apart. The team struggles to repair the arm for the next match, and they make it. But two matches later, the arm breaks again. Watch this guy. Oh, God. We're good. We're good. That's not good. Keep coming. Keep coming back. 32 out of 45. It's not bad. That's not good. It's not bad. After surviving their broken arm and rebuilding it twice, the Ratchet Rockers end day two with a win. The Ratchet Rockers' enthusiasm remains high, but their robot is still struggling. Hey, the arm work, that's a miracle in itself. In the last match, it all comes together for the team. But still, it is not enough. They are knocked out and do not make it to the playoffs. Although the season is over, the impact on Caitlin is lasting. I'm kind of stuck in between whether or not I want to go into engineering and stuff. Like, I, this whole experience has really changed my life. Like, I am actually seriously considering going into engineering and I would have thought that was the total geek thing to do and all this other stuff. It's totally the geek thing to do, but you know what? I actually think it'd be extremely fun.